In this video, I'm gonna show you our dry hiking of Guadalupe River State Park. And in part two, I will show you our river adventures. And be sure to stay to the end. I will tell y'all how many armadillos we actually saw this day. I also include a quick blooper at the end. Oh my gosh, these armadillos. River Overlook Trail, and you can see all the karst formation. This is very common in this area of Texas. Look how pretty. Oh, I can hear it. Oh, pretty. <laughs> you just, they're just looking for grubs. Very alert. And hold it. I have to put the leash behind my back so I can hold them. Where'd he go? There he is. He's digging. Look at him digging, Jupe. He's digging like you. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's move along. Nope, let's move along. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Quick, 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 quick. It's a nice trail along the along the river. You see it down there. Pretty warm today. But of course, it's getting cooler, I think, in about three or four days. You know, cooler in Texas in September. That means it's low 90s instead of upper 90s. I've noticed lots of grapevine out here. And there are a couple of different species of grapes here in Texas. There's muscadine, and then, uh, what is the other one called? Texas grape, oh, I can't remember. They call it cutthroat grape, but they're pretty sour. But one of them has like the really pretty iconic grape leaf and the other one is kind of plain. And one of the other, well, there's Yopon. One of the other plants that I forgot to mention was, there's a lot of what I call cedar elm. It's kind of a sticky, it feels kind of prickly, not prickly, but kind of like Velcro. But it, it crops up everywhere. It's a really fast growing plant. And it's a, it's a butterfly host plant to a few species. That's what you see all around here. A lot of this is cedar elm. Then you've got really large, there's a nice big pecan tree. So in this part of Texas, central Texas, a lot of pecans. Oh God, we have another sighting. Oh, yep, we have another armadillo. There are armadillos everywhere. Wow, good, good eye, Juke. Good eye. <laughs> Good eye. We gotta leave it. It's just a little armadillo. That's a kind of a ah! no. Ah! Shh. That's kind of a baby. Yeah, he's kind of a little teenager armadillo. Ah! I know. Shh. Shh. It's okay. We gotta leave it. Say bye bye, Mr. Armadillo. We'll see you later. Good doggies. Not really. There's a third armadillo. Look at Gemma. <laughs> Trying to get the leash off. Gemma, we've been in the water. Oh. That's a little bitty one. Oh, there he goes. Nope, 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 nope. You gotta leave that one. Oh, we like these little armadillo things. Come on, come on. We got to leave it. Leave it. Say bye-bye, armadillo. Good doggies. Bye-bye, armadillo. Come on. Bye-bye, armadilly. Oh, that's so exciting. <laughs> and that is the grapevine. They get huge. All I'm that sure. curly stuff is grapevine. It's a really nice food source for all kinds of animals. That's for sure. Now let me show you this. A lot of people think this is poison ivy, but that's not. That is, anybody want to guess? That's Virginia creeper. I see you. I see you with your baby. You're being very quiet. You're being very quiet. I see you. I don't even think the dog saw those. Did y'all see them? <laughs> see this action right here? That is from hogs. Wild hogs or feral hogs. I didn't know they used they did this in dry ground, but some of our archaeological sites that I've worked on, I realized they really tear up the ground and looking for grubs and stuff. That is very, very typical, and that's actually light 
action. They'll tear up a whole area. Look at these. I think these are the harvester ants that are the food source of the Texas horn toad. Don't kill these ants. They're good to have around. We need them. Another little, one little tip is, you know, I know checkout time is usually 12, but I decided to pay for another night just so I wouldn't have to leave so early and I could enjoy the day. You know, it's close to home and, you know, I think it's about four or five o'clock and I've, I've gotten to enjoy the entire, you know, most of the Sunday here at the river and there's nobody here. I mean, I think a couple of people have pulled in, but it's really empty. And when I went up to the headquarters, there was a line of campers about four or five deep at the septic station. I refuse to call it dump station. <laughs> um, and now, you know, there's, there's nobody around. So that's just kind of a, a tip. If you want to spend the extra money, you know, why not spend the whole day instead of having your whole Sunday just kind of wasted packing up if you're close to home. So anyway, this was a fun little site, fun adventure. It's really beautiful down there. I think we counted eight armadillos all together. And I'm all ready to go. It's getting easier, I have to say. It's getting a little easier. Shh, we have a sighting. We have a sighting. Come here, come here. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh. Oh. You scared him. Oh my God. 